Jack Hanma is the son of Diane Nail and Yujiro Hanma. Jack's mother was a secret agent whose job was to get rid of Yujiro Hanma on the battlefield. When the ogre discovered that Diane was trying to outsmart him, he decided to take revenge on her and rape Diane. That's how Jack was born. Yujiro, unlike he did to Bucky's mother, did not kill Diane, and Jack's mom decided to keep the kid. At 10 years, uh, he was already obsessed with power. Once he stood in a church protecting Jesus, counting on the fact that Jesus would give him strength in exchange for his protection. Even being a kid, he wished uh, to become the strongest creature alive. But Jack was not just a dreamer, he was a hard worker even then. Push ups until puddles of sweat formed beneath him, handstands until blood streamed from his nostrils and eyes. He would keep going until he passed out. He aimed to become the strongest and kept training to the point of losing consciousness. At that time, looks like Father Samuel, a priest, took care of him. It is unknown where his mother was, she probably became crazy after Yujiro's actions toward her. So young Jack was on his own, training non-stop chasing the dream. At 10 years old, he looked like a pretty pumped kid with a great muscular body, but the farther he go in his workout, the more he was damaging himself. During his extreme overtraining at various fighting gyms, he was too obsessed and unstoppable, which led to the deterioration of the muscles in his body. He was not much more than skin and bones because his body had been damaged by overwork. For example, Jack would punch sandbags for over 12 hours without eating, rest or even using the restroom and would lift weights until his body refused to do anymore. He claimed he would never be able to defeat his father with normal training. At that time he had a goal to become stronger than his father, probably to avenge his mother and prove to Yujiro that he is a worthy son. But once he met a scientist named Dr. John, who witnessed Yujiro killing a polar bear and was inspired by the power of the ogre to make a super athlete. The scientist promised Jack great results if he tries using a special drug which he called X4. Hanma received from him a concentrated formula of steroids to match his overtraining and gain the immense power in the process, though in the process Jack had become addicted to the drugs and began overdosing leaving him even more mentally unstable. At first, uh, the doctor was happy with Jack's results, but at one point he tells the Canadian that he is starting to overdo completely, although the doctor finally agrees to give Jack as many drugs as he wants. Like Yujiro, he became powerful enough to kill a polar bear with his bare hands, but with his unstable mindset he was more brutal and made its death agonizing. After finding a scheduled uh, silo in the frozen north, Dr. John in fear of what he created, pointed a gun at his temple and took his own life. Later Jack appeared at the maximum tournament and made it to the finals, before every fight using a lot of his power up in drugs. Also he opened his true Hanma identity to Yujiro. He introduced himself as Jack Hama at the beginning. Yujiro was shocked and happy in wait for the fight of his two strongest sons. The final fight is coming up and Jack is gonna face Bucky. Before entering the ring, Jack meets Yujiro in a the hallway. They talk for a while and Jack tells him that he's going to beat him next. A Canadian fighter entered the arena in a coat uh, with the Jack Hanma inscription, thus revealing his true name to everyone for the first time. In a hard fight, Jack's body starts to deform due to many drugs he took, and he starts screaming and vomiting painfully in the arena, but does not intend to stop fighting. The mutated Jack's body gets rid of the drugs he took and he becomes even more powerful but skinny. Eventually, Bucky's cheat technique called the demon back everyone suck activated and Jackie Boy lost the fight. After the match, Jack helps Tyrant Bucky raise the winner belt. When Jack leaves the ring, he meets uh, his father Yujiro again in the arena's corridor and after telling him that he's finally ready to fight him, Jack attacks Yujiro. Unfortunately for him, Yujiro counterattacks, biting him very brutally and then knocking out his son in the blink of an eye. Jack Hanma falls on the ground and Yujiro gets mad at him for losing twice in one day. 
After the maximum tournament, Jack has Kureha Shinogi perform surgery to lengthen his bones, where multiple of his bones were broken and he had his limbs lengthened in 8 places. Jack managed to gain 20 centimeters. Jack was 6.4 and now he is around 6.11 at this point in the series. Also, thanks to the training at the gym, he was able to get all of his muscles back and even grow bigger muscles than before. At this point, he was strong enough to easily defeat Eli Jr. and Sikorsky. But later he faced Pickle and once again lost twice in one day, losing all of his teeth. Disappointed Jack replaced all of his teeth with new ones and once again Shinogi Kureha performed the limb lengthening surgery so Jack became even taller and bigger. From this point he was 7'11". Also his muscles grew up according to the body, Jack became a huge tank with insane physical power. But all of this does not help him to beat Izo Motobe, he is still no match for the top tier fighters and Hanma lost the fight. Motobe ties him up and removes all his teeth as these were Jack's main weapon in fights. After that fight, Jack has made major improvements to the power of his methoder, strengthening his bites. Since biting is Jack's signature technique, it has become his martial pursuit and he has devoted himself to it. Traveling around the world, Jack has finally completed his technique in Taiwan and mastered his skill. He calls it Godo, the way of biting. He also had a full set of artificial titanium teeth surgically implanted in his mouth. From the result of his Godo, Jack is capable of seeing countless major and minor blood vessels of his enemies, similar to X-ray vision. Jack himself has stated that his Godo sees all animals and all humans as nothing more than dense clumps of vital points. With Godo, Jack can bite and tear off opponents' body parts in moments before they know it, making them bleed a lot. He can also counterattack any strike aimed at his face with a quick and hard bite. He managed to rip off the little finger of Nomino Sukuna second when he hit him in the face and tear his heel when the sumo wrestler kicked him in the jaw. After such hard work, the ogre finally admitted all Jack's effort on his way to growing stronger through surgeries and extraordinary dream training. As Yujiro said, the bigger the high, the better. And the way that Jack chooses is not an easy one and it's not something anyone can do with all of his insane painful surgeries. Also Yujiro noted that among the people in history who aimed to become the strongest, no one tried to use the way of biting. Jack stepped into the sacred place called biting alone. It is a pure rarity. Yujiro admitted the way Jack went through on his road to becoming the strongest. Jack was shocked. It's, it, it's, the, first, it's the first time I've been, I've been praised by you. Thank you, daddy, very much. Thank you. Jack Hanma is 21 years old by now and for his age he is inhumanly big and what kind of a fighter he will be in his 30s. Maybe he'll grow even more or maybe he unlock his demon back or maybe he achieve his goal and finally defeat Yujiro. So in his later years, let's take him in his uh, 30s, 40s, it is possible that he forced Kureha Shinogi to make another 2-3 limb landing surgeries. He already did that two times. So I assume that in his 30-40 years, Jack is already about 3 meters tall. Also he is a fan of titanium as he is a proud wilder of titanium teeth, so just like Hector Doyle he modernized his body. In Bucky world everything is possible, so I think his skull is made of titanium, in that case it is impossible to knock him out. His fist bones are also made of titanium, he was a hard puncher but now he is a killing puncher. Jack's arms bones and legs bones are also titanium so his arms won't break from the impact of his own punches and his legs could be able to handle such a huge body. Jack is crazy so all other bones like ribs and other stuff are also titanium. But he's still fast as fuck cause his legs are also modernized with engines to increase his acceleration. 
like a dude from My Hero Academia, but his are smaller and hidden inside his titanium bones. Jack has also reached his uh, hidden Hanma roots power and achieved some sort of a demon back, but it has more like an angel wings appearance, so it could be called an angel back. This grants him unlimited pain tolerance and energy resources uh, to the point of Jack never gets tired and does not feel pain at all, as well as his wounds heal with an incredible speed. So by his peak years, which is 30-40, he is a 3 meters tall, 400 kilos terminator who cannot be defeated in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. He challenged every worthy martial artist in Japan and other countries. He defeated Pickle with ease as well as other dudes like Dopo, Oliver or Katsumi. The only really strong people he still didn't fight against are his brother Baki and his father Yujiro. He does not fight Baki cause he is his brother and over the years they became good friends, even though Baki does not approve of the things that Jack did to his body. With the years, Jack's desire to defeat Yujiro grows even more, and at the same time seeing his son's big victories, Yujiro in his subconscious starts to respect Jack a little, but does not show it. And someday Jack finally made up his mind and challenged Yujiro. The ogre is the ogre and he agreed to a fight. Once again old Tokugawa, who is already 100 years old, hosted this fight at an insanely huge arena that he built somewhere on the outskirts of Tokyo. Hanma against Hanma, a huge fight, and uh, hundreds of thousands of people came to watch it live. Baki was also there, he cheered Jack, but also he supported Yujiro, as they have a close father and son relationship already. At the same time, Jack is feeling himself as still in the role of unworthy child, and as a result is a bit jealous. So the fight starts and both Hanmas do their best, but unfortunately Jack's impenetrable body, infinite regeneration and stamina granted by his angel back, accompanied by insane will and pain tolerance, did its job. Yujiro fought with all his might, but was defeated. As losing a fight is worse than death for him, the ogre fought till the last Jack's titanium punch which pierced through Yujiro's heart, killing him. The strongest creature on earth died standing, with a smile on his face, happy that he was defeated by his blood, and that after him remained the two of his ogre sons, who were both worthy to be called the strongest on earth. He also gave a strong speech, being uh, with no hurt already, after which everyone who watched that fight cried, including two brothers, who are indeed their father's sons. After the fight, Jack loses his interest in uh, gaining power, becomes calmer and stops training, as well as fighting. He becomes even closer to Bucky and visits him to drink some whiskey and talk about the old days. He is 30 years old now, he found a girl, started a family and has children. Also, his old opponent Pickle is uh, his good friend now, he understands every word already and learned how to speak. Jack achieved his goal of life, not really happy about it as he killed his father, but still. Also, he found his mother and hugged her. Also, there is another way for Jack. The number of surgeries, suicidal overtraining and the amount of steroids he took eventually killed him at the age of 35. If this video was interesting to you, leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to ring the bell for not to miss any new content. Thank you all for watching. For today, I'm out. Bye.